Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make the whiskey business. Now, this whiskey cocktail is a variation of a whiskey sour, and it was created by Megan Dorman of the Deer Irving in New York City. Now, when I say it's a variation, this is a whiskey cocktail that has been amped up with a whole bunch of heat, as you can tell by the fact that we have some Ancho Reyes here. Now, this is a chili liqueur. So this will give us a very interesting mouthfeel because of the velvety silkiness of the uh, uh, liqueur, but we're also gonna get some nice smoky heat. Now this is a shaken cocktail, so grab yourself your shaking glass, and we are going to start this with a little bit of lemon juice. So what we'll do is we will cut this in half, squeeze out and measure half an ounce or 15 milliliters and pour that into the glass. Your second ingredient will be a rich cinnamon syrup. Now when I say rich, I mean it's two parts sugar, one part water. And you just have to cook it a little bit longer till everything incorporates and it goes clear. And do that while you have cinnamon in it. It'll pull the flavors out a bit more and leave your cinnamon in for about 24 hours because it'll give you a nice, deep, rich syrup. We're going to use the same amount of half an ounce or 15 mils. Your third ingredient is going to be some bitters. And for this, we need a little bit of Angostura bitters. So, uh, you could adjust this by changing your bitters up just to give you some slight variation. So we're going to use a total of one dash. Your fourth ingredient will now be a rye whiskey. And this cocktail was originally made with uh, Rittenhouse rye whiskey. However, I can't get it where I am, but I do have some bullet rye, which is fantastic. And we're going to throw the lid all over the place, but we're also gonna use one ounce or 30 milliliters. Your next ingredient is what's going to bring that spice, that fire to your cocktail. And we're going to use Ancho Reyes. Uh, if you wanted to tamper this a bit, you could use something like an Ancho Reyes Verde, which is a uh, green chili liqueur. However, having said that, you could also amp this up a little bit by maybe putting in a couple of drops of a very spicy habanero style tincture. Totally up to you. But we're going to use one ounce or 30 mils. Our next step now is to shake this with some ice. Um, pretty much, you wanna shake it for a good eight to 10 seconds, maybe a little more depending on your personal taste. Uh, but you wanna make sure you don't over dilute it. So fill your glass with some ice and then slap your lid on there. Again, making sure to have a good seat, give it a flip and shake it. All right, once you're done with that, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes and a whole heck of a lot of spice. Put that off to the side and grab yourself your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a rocks glass. And what we're going to do is add some uh, fresh ice just to uh, fill up the glass. Right? And now what we'll do is we'll just use our Hawthorne strainer and pour it on top. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do now is we're going to garnish this with a lemon wheel and some chili flakes. Absolutely gorgeous. This is your whiskey business cocktail. Gorgeous to look at, smells great. You get a little bit of chili from the flakes. Oh, mm, mm. I got fire, oh but it's not a hot fire, it's not a roaring bonfire. What we have here is that spice and a little bit of heat on top of the whiskey while it's opening your tongue up. You get the hints of cinnamon, a little bit of that lemon, and the Angostura bitters is just a subtle hint. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.